Welcome, welcome. It's Judy back again with Plants vs. Zombies. And I'm going to just jump right back into the game where we left off last video. We're at Adventure Level 2 6. We're still in the night levels. And if I recall correctly, if I could talk today, <laughs> we just got a Hypno Shroom. So, first of all, let's pull out all these mushrooms. And I think I was trying to decide what would be most useful against our football zombie here at the end of the last video. So, football zombies are very tough, even more tough than bucket heads. You can stick a walnut in front of them and they will chew all the way through that sucker and keep going, um, depending on how many things are behind it shooting at it. Uh, the snow peas can be useful against them because they do slow them down, of course. So I think that's what's, what I'm gonna pull out. We also pulled out a cherry bomb for blowing them up in case my hypno shrooms are not charged and I have an emergency need to get rid of the football zombie. So um, yeah, I think that's our strategy for this round. Now, if I had more room, I would also be bringing out a walnut so I could slow him down that way too. But chompers and walnuts would be a good combination. Um, they will obviously eat them but again my problem with chompers is as i've told you in earlier videos they take so long to chew and swallow that they're just standing there not useful for such a long period of time i just think they're kind of a waste of your effort and slime so that's why i don't really use them that much anyway so this is a basic night level strategy except we have to keep our eye out for the fo footballs on me so you'll see how that works as we get into it got this in the row that I like to start in which is annoying oops that was a mouse misclick not that I actually meant to put that there in fact it's just gonna be a waste there so just dig it up it's easy to accidentally poke uh, <laughs> the mouse sometimes in this game you're trying to be in a rush and you're wiggling things around. Anyway, it can happen. Trust me. Okay, I guess I'm gonna put that one in front this time. Put another one behind it in a minute. Get this guy shot out of here. Now I put it back an extra spot because that gives me a little more lead time to shoot at him. to have enough sun built up before our first football zombie comes out. Those guys are rough. And I need a third one to shoot at him or he's going to chew through everything. He'll probably still eat the first one. Especially because this grave is in the way. So he's going to get much closer before this one will even engage. Very annoying. Out of the way. There we go. Much better. Alrighty. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting these guys down. Uh oh. Nah, spoke too soon. There we go. Okay, so you get to see a hypno shroom in action. It'll turn him around. And if there were zombies back here behind him, he would eat through them. And because he's so tough, he can actually really do some damage on the guys behind him. So those hypno shrooms are awesome if you have a big wave coming and you manage to get the football zombie with them because it will knock that whole row out pretty easily. I might should let one of the football zombies come in and you can see how much you can shoot through it. I don't know. My instincts are to always kill everything. <laughs> You might have to discover football zombie carnage on your own. We'll see. One more mushroom. And yes, 
I do like the three rows of mushrooms. It is probably a good amount of overkill, especially once all these mushrooms grow big and start giving you more sun. But as I've said many times, I'm into the overkill thing. All right, so I can either blow him up or use this, but if I put this out and this guy gets to it first, it'll use it on him, so that's it. Okay, there he goes. Chew, chew, chew. Yeah, you killed everybody behind him. These teachy levels are very short. Okay. And this is a distance shooting uh, mushroom. So he can shoot from way back, but you don't want to put him up in the front where, see where it says he hides, the scaredy shroom. He'll actually duck down and stop shooting and then just be like ready for them to eat. The nice thing about him is he's only 25 sun, so you can plant them in the back row, which I'll make room for them in the back row for you. Uh, try to remember not to plant sun in that back row when if you're using this strategy. Uh, plant these all across the back row and they can shoot from all the way in the back there and you know get more shots in from a distance that way. Anyway, you'll see. <laughs> we got football zombies again, so okay. Pull out all the mushrooms. And I didn't even have time to put out the snow peas last time because that round was so short. So we're gonna just take this cherry bomb and call it a day. And we need we don't need all the mushrooms because technically, honestly, if I was just playing for the fun of it, I wouldn't even bother with the scaredy shrooms. I would just use the exact same strategy I used on the last round. But I want to teach you how to use scaredy shrooms. So, and I may, if I remember, plant one closer to the front so you can see them do their duck down thing. But we'll see if I remember. There's a thing uh, which is me habitually playing a game the way I've been playing it for. I see. I already put him back there when I meant to put a row of these back there. I'll try to skip the next row. <laughs> I get to talking and don't remember things anyway. If I put one out, I'll remember, but then I can't put my son out as quick. But here, we'll go ahead and put one in there. All right. I won't waste sun on more than for a couple minutes here. But I would keep that row for them. Unless I screw up again. This sucks. I gotta get these buggers out of there soon. Alright. Keep rolling here. Whoops. The other problem with having a row of these is it either makes it more difficult to put your three rows of sun in or you just wind up with two rows of sun because you ain't got no room. And we're really crowded because there's this many graves out, so... See, I would love to put more out, but I don't have enough sun out to make me happy yet, so we're not doing it yet. Now see, he's shooting from all the way back here as soon as they pop their little heads up, so they will go down quicker, which is nice. And he needs three, so that's way in my way, but I'll put it there because grave's in the way. And we'll get, we'll clean that up when we can. And that's the one reason to use these scaredy shrooms is because all these graves are in the way up front it makes it harder to do what you normally would do, which is put these all across the front row. Okay. Trying to decide if I'm going to do the third row this time or not. Probably am because I'm stubborn like that. But <laughs> we'll see. Here. Okay, I'm dead. Alright. Starting to get these graves out of my way. Put that forward. 
Ugh, so many graves. Alright, we have two big waves this time. You see the flag zombie here and a flag zombie there, so this is a good size wave and I need to put a few meters off for Mr. Screen Door there. And you can use those on him too, by the way, of course. You can use it on any zombie. It's just better to save it for your footballer. And in fact, I'm going to be mad because the footballer's probably going to pop out right after I give that to him. And I should probably be thinking about reserving some sun for the uh, cherry bomb just in case he pops out. But if one does, you may get the chance to see how much carnage you can reach. Take them out as you can take them out. Alright, come on, let's finish this row here. Okay, doing good. Almost have all the grays out of the ground. I always try to put another one for them to chew before I let them get further back. Why you see me rushing and slap one down there. Don't like them to get too close to my expensive mushrooms. And don't forget this is giving you that extra so I technically have three of this level of damage going on because these guys in the back. Oh there's the football zombie. I was like did we even get one? We're gonna just blow him up. Boom! Oh I got one coin out of that whole explosion. Bummer. Ha! The frozen mushroom! These are fun. Ice shrooms. You put an ice shroom down and it, in about a second or two after you drop it, it goes poof and the whole board freezes. You'll see, because I'll use it. They're nice. Uh-oh. Disco zombie! <laughs> now, in an earlier, earlier version of this game, just a little random trivia for you, that dancing, I'm not going to bother with the scaredy shrooms this time, FYI, that dancing zombie used to look a lot like Michael Jackson in the Thriller video, and I'm guessing that they got uh, sued or something because uh, they took him out and replaced him with this disco looking guy. But he comes out dancing and then his backup dancers pop up out of the ground and multiple rows so that can get real crazy real fast so i'm definitely going to bring a cherry bomb out but that's these ice shrooms are going to be super useful if he comes out with his backup dancers because then you can freeze the whole lot of them all at once so hopefully you'll get a good view of the backup dancers but we'll see and yeah i'm just going to bring out all mushrooms and a cherry bomb at this point Let's go. Oh, I forgot to put a scaredy shrimp so you could see up in the front so you could see him duck. See, I knew I would forget. Oh, well. You'll have to take my word for it. It's cute. He gets all scared and shivery and he climbs his little self down into the ground. Maybe you'll get to see one on another video <laughs> at some point. <laughs> they're just not overly useful. I mean, eh. They're not any stronger than these guys and they cost the 25 and you have to put them in the back where you're used to planting sun and well, there's no point. Some of the plants are obviously way more useful than others and everybody's gonna have their own style. Maybe you love playing with chompers and I just don't play with chompers so I mean you know teach their own. So obviously as I'm sure 
you are aware you don't have to play like I play. These are just my strategies. I try to explain why they're my strategies so that you can decide for yourself if that sounds like a good way to go. But if you want to try another way, please feel free. This game, I'm sure, has multiple strategies that work for it. It's not that hard of a game. Um, it can take a minute to learn all the plants and what they do and all the zombies and their toughness levels and how they behave on the board. So, I mean, that's the hardest part of this game is just remembering all the different stuff that, and how it works together and against each other. So, once you get that stuff down, okay, here comes the dancing zombie. Now watch. Backup dancers all the way around him. And if you let him get far enough, they will come out again would be absolutely horrendous so let's freeze them and then now that they're frozen hopefully they will get taken down before he can pop more of those suckers out of the ground but he might nope he might nope good finally phew so once he's dead any backup dancers that are left they'll die like normal zombies they're just not that tough and they they can't pop out more but he can pop out more so that's your priority target when that main dancer comes out you got to get him out of there or he will pop up backup dancers all over the place and you don't want that here you want the zombies to die you want to defend your lawn gonna get that one out but he's in my way come on die thank you all right so i'm just trying to finish my rose of sun back here which i just did and now we can get rid of all the grave mess and finish putting out our shooty wooties and watch out for dancers and collect coins, the usual. Final wave already? Goodness. Alright. Now I could have frozen him before they all came out. I wanted to see him again. And as I like to do is take out... Well, they're almost dead, but take out multiple rows of cherry bombs. No coins? It's being stingy with the coins all of a sudden. There. Let's take this last row out here. Hurry up and die. We got other things to do. Aha! This is a gigantical explosion shroom. This sucker is mean. It's called a doom shroom. It will leave a crater that you cannot fill with another plant until the crater fills back over. That's the only disadvantage. It will take out a huge amount of zombies. So, can we even take out this much stuff? Let's look here. Alright. Do I want to hit no shroom or a cherry bomb? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, since I have a doom shroom, I don't really need a cherry bomb, I guess. Let's take the hit no shroom. Because if you hypnotize him, he'll bring up the dancer zombies for your team and they'll turn around and go to in that direction just like uh, he will so I'll see if I can catch him with one it really just depends on how the level pans out dang it I do not like when there's so many graves everywhere they stress me out until I can get them especially that one's bothering me right now do not like Grave's bad. Just waiting on the recharges here. I'm like, come on, come on, gimme, give gimme. Give gimme, give gimme, give so I can get my son out and get some grave busters and chew up all this mess on the board. The advantage of having these ice shrooms and doom shrooms out here is that if I don't get around to spending sun on the fume shrooms it really won't matter. So I'll just freeze the board or blow up the board and these guys are then plenty of firepower for that reason. 
So I might not bother putting the rose perfume strings out. We'll see how far we get on getting all these graves out of the ground. That's gonna be my priority. feels like it's going too slow. And where are we at? 2-9. Okay, so this is the last of the normal levels on the night level. We are about to embark upon whatever specialty thing they have before you go into uh, three dashes. Like I've told you before, there every five levels there's some kind of specialty level. So we had so far the walnut bowling, and then we had one where the we were just trying to put out plants as fast as we could. So I don't remember in what order those specialty levels come. I've played way too many of the mini games in my time in this game. Uh oh, there's two cone heads in a row. That's not a good sign. Plenty of sun for that. Clearly, too busy trying to chase the sun across the board, even though I have more than there's. I need to, there's no point in it being even collecting it at this point. I have an overabundance. Okay, 
Ah, there you go. Alright, so put it there in front of him, and he'll go that way, and, if he, and he got his head eaten off, so never mind. I was hoping he would raise some dancers, but I can't go that way, but you get the idea. Or at least I assume you do. Oh, and let's show you the, the boom! Doom shroom! Now see that great big crater? It'll take a while for that to fill in, and while it's trying to fill in, you can't plant anything there, so... That's the only disadvantage to those. It, it will clear a good amount of the board. If you put them in the middle like this, they'll clear everything. If you put them all the way over here, then they'll get like two or three, I think it's three rows across and then leave these ones. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm sure I'll use them again in the future and we'll be able to see that. Hello, we would like to visit for a midnight snack. How does ice cream and brains sound? Sincerely, the zombies. All right, let's do the specialty level. So notice that you had a dancers and football zombies. And remember, you don't get sun on these levels because the plants are just popping up up here. So let's take advantage of these gray blisters and the blisters out. Let's hold on to this doom shroom until we have an emergency situation. Basically, you're just going to try to really pay attention to what's coming and utilize the plants as they come out as best you can. And you want to get all these graves up if you can possibly get it. And then here's your emergency ice shrooms and doom shrooms. Put that there instead of in front of him because the cone zombie is harder to kill. And I knew something would pop up that I could use. Okay, see, there's your scaredy scream ducky. So this guy is actually a problem now. Because, nope, the scaredy shroom won't hit him. And so, yeah, he's going to chew through that one too. And then the mower's going to get him. Because I'm not going to waste a bomb just to blow up one stupid zombie. That's just unfortunate. You cannot let anybody else through this one, though. This is going to be a dangerous throw. Because if anybody else gets back here, they'll get to your brains. So, as fast as you can, you want to try to get these guys dead. shooting power from the rest of the rows. So. Gotta make those decisions. See, this one's almost completely useless, but that one was so far up when I first put it down, I had to put it back. So. got the long distance shooters in every row. And I'm going to put this way up here because that way if something comes behind me he'll go turn around and shoot. See, now he'll get rid of that screen door zombie for me. If I had put it closer he would have already been off the board before the screen door zombie came. So that was... Okay, so now we've got all this emergency stuff up here, but I'm not getting more mushrooms to plant because I don't have any room. So we're going to just use that to get it out of the way. So give me some shooters here. Give me shooters. No, nope. Grey Busters work too, though. I'll take it. Alright, so we're going to solve the problem of him and him. I'm using more of these. 
That took out everybody! Notice I planted it in front of the other one because this one's still filling in. It wouldn't have planted on top of that. I'm gonna put the extra one there just because this is a dangerous spot. Not that I'm worried because it's got a ridiculous number of emergency things to use, but you know. Just good strategy. Alright, all the graves are up. So if I get more grave busters, they're trash. slow these guys down as soon as they get close enough to this to make it worth uh, using them. Oh, okay. Good time to do it. Keep him from spawning more dudes. That one there because, yep, nope, he spawned more dudes before he died. And here comes another one! Take them out. Now see that one had healed over, but I just planted where it was. So now there's two big holes here. So just be aware of what's coming. I just caught him with the, the hit mushroom. Catch him with one too. If something got too close to my plants here, I would freeze the board or blow them all up with the brush. Trying to save the mushroom for the final waves. I mean, the, the doom shroom, they're all mushrooms. Not that I really need to worry about that since now see it won't plant. So let's go ahead. Because we ain't got time to play with football zombies. Because I still have plenty back up here. Now there's no point in putting these so far forward, but whatever. It's the final wave. because he was so far back. That's it. Alrighty. This is the lily pad. That means we're going into the pool levels and I just got an achievement. That's what that noise meant. So let's go look at that. Lily pad lets you plant non-aquatic plants on top of it. Pool levels. Looks like the zombies gave up attacking your front yard, now they're trying your backyard. And to top it all off, you can't even use your mushrooms, because they fall asleep during the day. Well, isn't that just dandy? Yes, yes it is. And we don't have my favorite plant yet. So, so see, these are all dark now. You cannot plant them. I mean, you can pull them out, but it would uh, be a waste because you can't plant them. So, there you go. Now, I'm going to go to the menu real quick and look at the achievements because we just got one. I heard it. Uh, Penny Pincher. Pick up 30 coins in a row on a single level without letting any disappear. Nice! Yay, coins! Alright. And then let me check the almanac real quick because I wanted to show you the new zombies. Oh, and there's a pool zombie. We just haven't uh, played with him yet so we don't have the details. But here's the so these backup dancers appear in sets of four, but they are they have low toughness. So they're basically the same as one of these guys, except for the way they move and look. Dancing zombie has medium toughness, toughness, but that bringing the backup dancers thing is the thing you have to really worry about. Football zombie has very hard toughness and he's fast. So yeah. Nemesis those guys and then you know we can see the so the lily pad is literally just for using in the water you ha can't plant other plants in the water until there's a lily pad under them so we'll be showing you that next all right and oops it's already 34 minutes into this recording so that next will be the next video so thanks for watching i hope you've been enjoying this walkthrough of Plants vs. Zombies, the Game of the Year edition with me. If you enjoy my channel, feel free to subscribe and or uh, click that bell so you get notifications when new videos pop up. 
and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.